Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the car featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I bring you something I've been wanting to film for about a while now. Here, I bring you a 2013 Dodge Durango RT. This is going to be complete, an in-depth review of the Durango. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you all the features that this car has to offer. For starters, let's go ahead and walk around the exterior like we always do. It does have a black exterior. The grille has been color matched. I think that's an RT special. The bottom grille is actually custom color matched too. It does have fog lights built into the front bumper. Projector headlights. This car rides on 20 inch wheels on Goodyear 4 Terra HL tires. Man, these newer Durangos, I just gotta say, they were not like they used to be back when these cars were based off the Dodge Dakota truck. These are more like their like the sedan car, the Dodge Charger. Man, these are just so awesome. This one does have a tow package down there. Factory dual exhaust, specific to the RT. This one also does have a rear view camera. Backup sensors built into the bumper. Blacked out wheels, I forgot to mention. And also before I go on the interior, I would like to show you that it does come with remote start. Very simple how it operates, just basically hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. And there you go. You turn it off, just hit the button again. And also before I go in the interior, this car does have a remote smart key access system. Just have the key fob anywhere around you, like having it here in my pocket. To lock, just hit the button on the front of the door handle. That indicates that the vehicle is locked. To unlock it, just grab the back of the handle and it automatically unlocks. Inside, it does have a black perforated leather interior, red color contrast stitching, and RT embroidery in the seat. All right, power options are over here. Power windows, power door locks, window locks, and power mirrors. Leather accented handles with, with red stitching. So, let's go ahead and jump inside. Overall, this is a very nice car. Also, it does have a remote push button ignition. You should have the key fob anywhere inside the car. Put your foot on the brake. Hit the engine start button to start the engine. The little Uconnect logo that popped up on the, on the radio screen. Very nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power assisted steering. Pretty much a point and shoot steering system. No matter where you leave the wheel, it always st stays where it is and there's no spring back. Perforation up top. This has a five speed automatic transmission with auto stick manual shiftability. Clicking left to shift down and right to shift up. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. Also when you put the vehicle in reverse, it does show an integrated backup camera through the navigation screen there, with guidance lines on it. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, already on, hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. You have turn signal markers on the mirrors. These little triangles in the mirror are the blind spot monitors. Going to go back in, shut off all the lights. Now, 
I'm gonna pop the hood. Show the engine. At the business end of this Durango, we find here it's 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Overhead valve with two valves per cylinder. Produces 345 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. Put the stock airbox right up here. This particular Hemi is the same one used in the Dodge Charger and the Dodge Challenger. Runs fantastic. Zero to 60 and quarter mile times will be listed in the description box, so please see that if you're interested. These are just fantastic engines. As for fuel economy, EPA fuel economy estimates for this car range between 15 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon highway on regular and leaded gas. So let's go ahead and shut the hood and we'll go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. There's never a rev limiter around 3,000 RPM. Beautiful sounding engine. Parking brakes located right down here. Just press to set, and the indicator light shows right up there in the dash, and then press it again to release. All right, so now let's go ahead and shut the door, roll up the window, and check out some of the interior features. Does have the upgraded navigation radio right here. Does have an Alpine sound system. Open and close right here for your DVD, DVD and CD player. Track seek is right up here. Your radio and media right there. Auxiliary disc HDD, AM, FM, and satellite radio. Direct tune is right here. Scan. You can also show your presets right here. You can go up to 12 presets, which is more than you ever need. Your voice activation is up here. Phone right there. You know, phone's available right now. Your menu. You create display settings. Oops. You go to your turn off your screen right there. Your default view, picture view, and view your map. Right there. Go through your nav right here. Right here is the USB port. And over here is an auxiliary line in. Very nice. Right down here is the climate control. Your fan speed is right here. Temperature right here. This is a dual climate control, so the driver and passenger can have their own temperature. Right here controls the rear climate control. The fan speed, temperature, and different zones. Different zones controlled right there. Auto AC, front defrost, rear defrost, AC control and recycler. Press the sink to control both sides at the same time. Heated and ventilated seats. Very nice thing to have. Your AC off down there. Glove box down here. Two storage pockets on the side of the door. Visors with vanity mirrors also over here reading lights home link for garage door opener you have a sunroof as well you can operate that this is a one touch automatic you can also vent it out Sunglass holder right here. Here's the reading lights. Right here is the automatic opening lift gate. Power dimming rear view mirror. Storage down here. Cup holders in the center console. Two storage trays right here. You have storage inside the console. Right here is the smaller console. You have a much larger one down here. 
It also does have a 12 volt power point in there. Give another 12 volt outlet down here. Your cruise controls off to the right of your steering wheel. Right here is the blind spot monitor. Right here is the cruise control right there. Adaptive cruise control that is. Voice activation and phone controls are right up here. Right here are the heads up display controls. Right here shows your vehicle speed, your, your kilometers and miles per hour. Trip info, trip A and trip B. Average time, tire PSI. Oops. Let's go ahead and show you that. Vehicle information, your coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, trans temp, engine hours. Now once more for your messages. Units from English to metric, your system setup, turn the menu off. Also up here you can show your fuel economy, your average miles per gallon. ACC off right now. And back to your digital speedometer. Very nice. Your wiper controls are on the turn signal stock. Also you do have radio controls behind the steering wheel. The left is your track seek and the right is your volume. The buttons in the center, scroll through your presets. Fuel door release down there. It does have a tilt steering column. Power sliding tilting driver's seat, power recline, and power lumbar support. You also do have two position memory seats. I'm going to show you the back. You have a pretty good amount of room in the back here. I'm 6'5 in height, and this is how much room I have. You do have the center armrest, center console down there, storage inside there. There's the headphones for the DVD player, which is right up here. No disc is available right now, but I believe this right here is for the brightness. You have two reading lights right up here. Also reading lights for back here. You have a smaller console right up here. Two cup holders right here. Heated seats for the rear passengers. Audio hookups down there. 115 volt outlet. Right here is the little AC vents. Storage net on the back of the front seat. These do have the child protective safety locks. This one is unlocked. I'm gonna have to get up over there. But there, anyway, here's a view of your third row seat. It's very nice. Right here, you do have storage underneath there to, for your rear passengers to get access to it. Now I'm going to have to go and get out on, on this side because this child protective safety lock is, is unlocked. The seat does fold down. Pull it again and it also folds back up. Now again, show you from the third row. There's a view up front. Two cup holders right here. That stuff out. Pull this, pull down the seat. Put this seat up. I'll go ahead and show you the rear cargo area. It is automatically opening. Very nice. Third row seats do fold forward, like so. 12 volt power outlet back here. It does have an automatic closing lift gate as well.
overall, this is a very nice car. Now we'll go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2013 Dodge Durango RT. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.